am Dr. Joe DeMarco, chiropractor and owner of Ocrement Health. On today's video, we're going to go over how to strengthen one of the most important muscles in the body for both balance and stability. Before we do, if you haven't done so already, go to www.afitnesscarol.com and pick up a copy of my new book called The Fitness Carol. Yes, it is a parody on the Christmas Carol with a health and fitness twist. I think you'll enjoy the story, but more importantly, I think after reading the book, you're going to learn the importance of taking better care of yourself for your entire life. So when you get a chance, pick up a copy. Hey, if you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, subscribe to my channel, Okra Med Health on YouTube, click that little bell notification, it notifies you every time I upload a new video. And at the end of today's video, if you found the information helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Today we're focusing in on the glute medius and how to strengthen it. Now, I think the glute medius is one of the most important stabilizing muscles of the body. I look at it the same as the rotator cuff muscles of the shoulder. You want to have strength in your shoulders. You want to be able to bench press heavy. You want to be able to shoulder press heavy. You have to have nice, strong rotator cuff muscles. Well, the same can be said in the, in the hip area. If you want strength on your squat, it, it's, it's the glute medius that we really should strengthen and focus on. And a lot of times it's not, it's not and it's neglected and it causes problems. Now, not only is it important to stabilize the lower body for squatting heavy and, and movements like that, it's also a, a muscle that's important for balance when we're standing on one leg. It's a uh, stabilizer when we walk. It's a very, very important muscle. So quick look at the anatomy here, the glute medius. It's a fan-shaped muscle, and it originates off the gluteal surface of the ilium here, and then it narrow, comes down in a narrow way, like I said, like a fan, and attaches to the upper part of the femur in an area known as the greater trochanter, okay? Let's talk a little bit about the function of the glute medius. So let's talk a little bit about glute medius function. One of the main functions of the glute medius is, if I'm standing like this, is to abduct the hip, so to bring the leg away from the midline like that. Now, as this glute medius is contracting to do this motion, how do you think I'm standing on this leg? This glute medius is actually contracting and it's contracting to prevent adduction of the hip so that it stabilizes this hip so that I can stand on this leg as I lift this leg off the floor. Some other functions of the glute medius, it's a, it's a, a secondary um, muscle for hip flexion and it also performs some internal rotation. That's from the front part of it. This is a fan-shaped muscle, remember, so it's kind of long. The front part will aid in hip flexion and internal rotation. The back part of the glute medius will aid in hip extension and external rotation, turning the hip in this direction, okay? If the, if the hip is flexed up to 90 degrees, the glute medius, all portions of it, will actually aid in internal rotation, all right? So there's some of the functions. Let's talk about how do we strengthen this muscle. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some progressions on strengthening the glute medius. Don't be surprised that even these most basic exercises are gonna fatigue out your glute medius if you're not used to doing specific glute medius exercises. This muscle is often very weak, and I think when you realize how quickly your glute medius fatigues out on you, you're gonna realize how this muscle is probably affecting your squat, how your ability to squat heavier and, and strengthening it is gonna be a big help to you. And also you're gonna realize how important it is to strengthen this muscle, but you're gonna see how uh, it's gonna affect, a weak glute medius is gonna affect your balance. So it's a, such an important muscle, but don't be surprised if you feel fatigue right off the get go, okay? So here's how we're gonna start this strengthening process. I want you to get a step I just got a couple plates on the ground. You just want something high enough so that as I step up, this leg is off the ground. So I have my left leg, I'm working my left glute medius, this leg is dangling. Make sure you're up high enough as you tilt this pelvis down, which is what we're gonna do. You don't wanna have this foot touch the floor, okay? So here's the motion, you're gonna step up here. If you need to hold on to the wall, if you need to hold on to a chair, that's okay. But really focus in trying to do this without holding on to anything because balance work is working the glute medius here, okay? So from this position, I'm gonna relax the left glute medius and let that hip on the right drop down. Like I said, don't let the foot touch the floor. If you do, you need something higher. And then from here, you're gonna pull, contract the left glute medius and pull the hip back up to neutral. So let it drop down, then pull it back up. Very subtle motion, but drop down, pull back up. You're gonna do 10 repetitions. Then you're gonna step off of the off the step, and we're gonna do some abductions with the right leg. As we mentioned before, as I abduct the right leg, 
and work that glute medius. The left glute medius is still working. So from this position, I'm gonna just abduct out and bring it back and forth like that. And we're gonna do that for 10 repetitions, okay? Three sets of those, three sets of leg abductions, okay? When you feel, in three sets of 10, I should say. When you feel like you're doing that pretty well, we're gonna combine the two. So our next progression would be to do a combination. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get back up on the, on the, on the plates I'm stepping on here. I'm gonna let that hip drop down. I'm gonna contract the left glute medius, pull it back to neutral. Once I've pulled it back to neutral, then I'm gonna abduct the leg and I'm gonna bring it back and that's a one count. Then again, drop the hip down, come back up, abduct the leg, bring it back, that's a two count. So we're gonna do 10 repetitions and we're gonna do three sets of that. So it's a combination of the two. So it's gonna be more intense, you're gonna feel it even more. And then the final progression, when you feel it, you can get through three sets of 10 or three sets of 15 of that combination exercise where you drop the hip down and bring the leg out, drop the, okay? Once you feel it, you can get through three sets of 10 or even three sets of 15. Then we're gonna make it a little harder. You're gonna grab a weight, grab a plate, and just kind of hold it in your hand here, okay? Step up on the, the plates again. Have this in your hand. I should mention that if I haven't already, the leg I'm standing on stays straight. Don't bend this knee on the standing leg here, okay? This leg is staying straight. All right, now with a little extra weight in my hand now. Now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna drop that hip down. It's gonna be a little tougher now. I'm gonna straighten the hip up by contracting the glute medius. Okay, now from this position, I'm holding this weight, but just kind of let it lean into this leg as you abduct so that the weight is against the leg as I'm abducting the leg, then come back. And that's the one count. So drop the hip down. <laughs> it's, it's tough. It's, I feel like a little balance right there. Come back up, then put, let the weight rest against the thigh and abduct it that way and come back down. And there you go again, three sets of 10, three sets of, build up to three sets of 15. When that gets too easy, you can just add, add another plate. But work those progressions. Like I said, you know, it's funny, just doing the demonstration. I mean, I can feel it. This is a, these are, these are, these are exercises. are gonna target that glute medius and you're gonna be so happy when you strengthen this glute medius, you're really gonna notice a big difference in the gym. Okay, so get work in the glute medius muscles. It's such an important muscle. I would do those exercises every other day, do them for the next four to six weeks and see if you notice a change in the gym. See if you feel more stable and stronger on your squat. A good thing to do too is before you start the program, time yourself standing on one leg. See how long you can stand on one leg. Go four to six weeks of doing the exercises and, and then recheck it and see if you've increased your, uh, your balance on one leg. And that's a good indication that that glute medius or your glute medius muscles have gotten Got it strong, all right? Best of luck. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I wanna hear how you're doing with the exercises. If you haven't done so already, take a moment right now, visit my website, www.okramedhealth.com. We have a full line of fashion release products. Everything is in stock. Check it out when you have a chance. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel, Okramed Health on YouTube. Questions about exercises or injuries, just leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I do the best I can to get back to everybody. And don't forget, Okramed Health is here to keep you fit forever.